Hello and welcome everybody. Today uh, we're going to do another flight for Aviatife for our career in Aviatife. Uh, for those of guys that don't know it, Aviatife is a uh, free app uh, that you can use in uh, conjunction with any kind of flight sim. I'm using Flight Simulator, Microsoft Flight Simulator, and it kind of um, uh, simulates a uh, flight career. So I've started this uh, some time ago. Uh, I think a month or so. I'm still uh, flying a very small aircraft, the Cirrus uh, SR-22, and we're going to take our next uh, flight today. So we've got some uh, challenges uh, coming up for today. Uh, with those challenges you can earn some extra Avia tokens, which you can spend on some uh, skills. Uh, that way you can uh, uh, transport more cargo or more passengers. Anyway, today uh, the skills it, it's going to be, or the challenges are going to be uh, fly 200 nautical miles, uh, per fly, uh, or perform two flights in a uh, light category aircraft, or transport 20 passengers. Well, I don't think I'm going to manage to do either of those. We're doing a short flight today, and I don't think I'm going to have the time to do two flights and 20 passengers. There's no way I'm going to fit them in my <laughs> ASR 22. We got a league going on. Uh, we can switch uh, quickly switch to the league. Uh, I'm in here somewhere. Oh, here I am, number 17, MGI Airlines. So we need to get some extra points to get up in the league. Um, the guy that wins the league every month gets uh, a lot of extra Avia tokens, 15,000 to be correct. So uh, to be precise. So that's going to afford you a lot of uh, extra uh, bonus. Uh, activities in the game anyway let's uh, go to our flight so we already selected a flight here uh, at this point my aircraft is stationed in uh, the middle of germany at braunschweig uh, airport that's where i landed the last time and we're going to take a, uh, a job and we're going to uh, transport two passengers so i already um, took the job accepted jobs this is the one so we're going to take uh, two passengers from Braunschweig, Germany, to Nobitz in Germany, which is to the southwest. It's only 109 nautical miles. We are going to be flying on VATSIM, uh, although I don't think there's many controllers online right now, so it's probably going to be Unicom for the most part. Uh, but yeah, that's what we're going to do. So uh, without further ado, let's get into the sim and let's uh, start our flight. And uh, I'll see you guys in a minute. Bye bye. Okay, here we are and are uh, at the airport, uh, Braunschweig, Germany. Nice weather out there, beautiful skies. It's nice weather here in Europe. I don't live too far away from here, so yeah, I can concur that the weather is correct. Um, so what we're gonna do first is to run through our checklists and uh, start up the aircraft. Just connect it to VETSIM. Uh, like I said, I don't think there's any controllers, but we'll check that out in a minute. So, yeah, let's go through the checklist first and uh, start up the aircraft. First things first, uh, weather and density altitude. Well, the weather is uh, fine. It's VFR. I can get a METAR here if we want to. So we are at Braunschweig Airport. Okay, so we got uh, five knots of wind, which is uh, very nice. At 240 degrees. That means we're going to take off from runway 26 because then we got a nice headwind. Uh, we got more than 10 kilometers of visibility. Clouds are, uh, it's clear below 5,000. Well, it's just clear all the way up. So no significant weather, no sick. It's 18 degrees, very comfortable. And we got a QNH of 1023, which we're going to use a little later uh, to get in here. I don't have a uh, ADIS here because there's no tower online. Let me just quickly check that. Oh, I could use the ADIS from Frankfurt, I think. Well, we're going to check that in a minute. So, weight and balance. Okay, well, I checked the weight and balance. We got half fuel. We got two passengers in the back. They're very quiet at the moment, but uh, they are there. Okay, my flight plan has been uh, uh, has been uh, filed with uh, with uh, Vatsim, so that's fine. So let's go through the checklist. So first things first, avionics off. Oh, they should be off. Avionics are off. Let's turn everything off because I still have some things running here. <laughs> the last guy didn't uh, leave me a nice clean aircraft. Avionics off, battery master two on. 
so I'll have to do that. Check voltages, well we have to wait for the Garmin for a moment. And the voltages should be 25 volts, well we got 25.4, so that's fine. Flap lights are off, check. Battery master one on, check. Fuel quantity, both almost full, check. Switch your fullest tank, well they're both equally full, so it's fine. Flaps at 100%. Let's lower the flaps here. We just did. Let's check them. Oh, they're both set. Fully extended, so that's fine. It's working just perfectly. Check voltage again. We still have 25 volts, so that's fine. Master's off. That means both battery switches off. And we need to check the static, uh, alt static, alternate static. Uh, pressure, so that's fine. Uh, we're good. Okay, so short uh, brief the passengers while well, we're probably going to take off a of runway 26, which is right ahead of us. Uh, we're going to climb to uh, 5,000 feet. We have no restraints, so we can right away climb to that altitude. Then we're going to uh, move our way to south, to the southeast. It's a short flight, it's only uh, 100 nautical miles, so we should be around 45 minutes, and then we should start descending and land um, at our destination. So that's basically it. Um, safety features, uh, if something happens on the runway, we're gonna try to uh, stop the aircraft. Uh, when we're in the sky, but we're below a thousand feet, we're gonna try to uh, land straight away, find a field somewhere uh, to land. If we are above a thousand feet, then we're going to try and fly a circuit and get back to the airport. So that's basically what we're going to do. Uh, hopefully we won't have to, but if something happens, that's what would work. So let's continue with the uh, checklist. Let's turn all the masters on this time. We're going to start the airplane. Uh, strobes. So let's do the strobes. There we are. Strobe on. Flaps back up. Flaps up, that's flaps up. Let's reduce the sound a little bit. Okay, then we go to uh, mixture rich, like so. Power forward, then uh, prime for eight seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then to boost. Close the power. Yep. Clear the prop. Prop is cleared. Full throttle and then back to around a thousand RPM. Here we are. Thousand RPM. Check the oil pressure. Oil pressure is in the green. That's fine. Check the uh, monitor the engine while oil temperature is climbing and the engine is sounding uh, just fine. Alternator one is on. Flaps are up. We just did that, so that's fine. Avionics on. on I'm still struggling with the switches I just got the uh, Bravo throttle quadrant used to do with the mouse I have to switch it now so still some getting used to okay avionics are on then GPS and autopilot uh, well we're gonna set a few things here so first of all I'm gonna set the altitude at a 5000 like so um, and we're gonna fly with the heading bug well I'm gonna take off of runway 26, so let's set that in box for 26 first. Uh, here we are, 26, that way. And let's turn the flight director on. Um, let's turn on the uh, level change, climb. And we're gonna do that with the uh, optimum climb rate, so that's 101 knots. 
bad altitude. Like so, and we're going to follow the heading bug. So we're going to turn that on as well. Nice. Now, okay. Then the frequencies, well, let's switch to one, two, two decimal eight for Unicom and Vatsim. I should be able to see myself here on the, uh, oops. map and here we are so we're gonna just uh, communicate via uh, Unicom there's no tower online here so uh, that's too bad but it's that's the only way we can do it so that's okay then I don't have an ATIS in, in, in the vicinity but I'm gonna check the latest METAR which gives me a Q&H of 1023 which is already set so that's perfect yeah that should all work Altimeter, check, set. Okay. So next we're going to taxi. Um, so we have to sure secure our seat belts. Well, they're really secure now. Let's turn on some cabin heat. At least some uh, fresh air in here. Lights as required. Well, I'm going to start taxiing. We're going to turn on all the lights. Uh, check the brakes when we're uh, taxiing. And also check that the uh, H is I so that we get a good heading. Uh, check the compass so stuff like that okay so we're ready for taxi uh, we're gonna taxi to runway uh, 26 let's zoom in a bit on the uh, on the panel here so this is runway 26 we're gonna go there and then we're gonna take off um, we're gonna do a run-up before we get there uh, so we have to find a spot I think we have some room here just at the start of the uh, of the runway to do our run-up Uh, so yeah, let's get going. Let me just pull up a map and uh, let me announce myself. So, Braunschweig traffic, Hotel Bravo Kilo Mike uniform, a general aviation parking, taxiing to runway 26 via taxiway Alpha. Okay, let's turn on the lights, landing lights and nav lights and let's slowly make our way over there. Sorry, dude. That guy's got a really bad job. Okay, there we go. Nice and gentle. Let's find a yellow line to move across. Here we are. Take a left here. And right away, take a right. So we get onto Taxiway Alpha. Not too busy today on the uh, airport. As a matter of fact, there's no one here. I'm the only one. Beautiful day for flying. For real, it's a beautiful day for flying. Might get some turbulence in the afternoon, but for now it's fine. So all we have to do now is do the run up and then we should be good to go. Uh, there's not really a spot here for the run up so I'm just going to park the aircraft here a bit to the side. All like so and do the run up here. Uh, okay so run up, brakes are hold, on hold, I put the parking brake on. So trim for takeoff. Well, we are trimmed for takeoff. It's kind of automatic, I think, in this aircraft because I don't see any trim wheel or anything. So we're trimmed for takeoff. Let's check the controls. All the controls are free. Check. Let's put flaps at 50%. There we go. 50% and flaps are set. Let me get that straight. 
instrument check while well, everything is in the green. Um, oil pressure, oil temperature, we got amps, we got voltages. And the engine is quite cool, but that would be normal since we're standing still. Switch to fullest tank while well, the tanks are both equally full, so that's done. Let's power up to 2000 RPM. Not that much. Take it easy here. Okay, we got 2000 RPM. Check the prop. Well, the prop is fine. Let's reduce power to 1700 RPM. Like so. Oil pressure and temp. Oil pressure is fine. The temperature is. Oil pressure is in the green. Temperature is fine. Let's turn on pitot heat and the lights. I kind of forgot to turn off the landing lights. I should do that when I'm standing still. And pitot heat. Yeah, we can turn it on, I guess. I got pitot heat turned on. It's 18 degrees outside, so I doubt that we need it, but. Okay, we should have 28 volts right now. We do. Let's check the mag. So we're going to drop mag 1, the left one, and we should see a reduction in around uh, 150 RPM maximum. So that's well within range. It's about 100. Not even that. It's about 50, so it's really good. Let's take the other one. Okay, that's fine as well. Okay, set to both, right? Yeah, let's start. Set to both. Um, then power back to 1000 a, a RPM. Let's set the, the transponder, which should be at 7000, it is, and let's turn that on mode C, on altitude, so now they can see us on that sim as well, the controllers. One last check for the barometric centering, is uh, barometric, so 1,023, uh, that's a QNH, which is fine. That's one check I can do, we're about 300 feet, so let's see, the airport is at 269 MSL, so that checks as well, it's just a little extra check we can do. Initial altitude, 5,000, and the climb at 501 knots, so that should all be perfect. We've got one short little uh, checklist to do, it's a lineup check. When you're lined up on the runway, we're not going to line up because we're just going to take off right away. So let's do jet check now. Boost pump should be on. It is. Check. Mixture to rich. Check. Flaps at 50%. Check. And the lights, we're going to turn on the landing lights as soon as we start moving and the trim is set. So as far as I can tell, we're good to go. Let me zoom out the map here a little bit so we can see where we're going. Again, I'm not going to use the autopilot here. I'm going to use four flight on my iPad and just uh, set the heading bug. I think that's easier that way. So let's announce our, announce our um, departure and then uh, I would say we're good to go. One last check, one way to six. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, let's say that. Nice. Brown track traffic, Hotel Bravo Kilo Mike uniform, taking off runway 26, uh, left hand out, outbound via Shera. Okay, that's us. Let's turn that uh, landing light back on. Release the parking brake. And let's line up to the runway. Oh, let's just take off here. Rotated 70 and rotate. Flaps up and then climb at around 101 knots, like so. Getting some nice altitude here. Let's move to the left, 
so we can get to share our point first and then we'll start going where we need to go okay let's set the heading bug and then we can turn on the, uh, the autopilot which uh, makes life so much easier okay autopilot is set and we're on our way just to give you a little heads up how we're gonna fly today so we are here now let me just show you quickly we are first gonna go over to Shara and then we're gonna head over to our intended flight and then we're gonna just follow the line to the south it's not a long flight, we're going to make a little detour here because I don't want to go through this airspace here because we're flying VFR and then we're going to land here. So that's our plan for today. Let's get back to our aircraft. Zoom in a bit so we can see where we're going. So this is a outbound point Shara here where we have to go. Uh, and that's just a VFR procedure, at least it is in Europe, to make sure that the traffic uh, stays a bit uh, separated. So, coming up on our altitude now, 5,000 feet, which goes pretty quickly with, uh, with the Cessna. Flight plan here. Have a look. There we go. Okay, level off. speed here and then we're gonna trim the aircraft for uh, for cruise lead the mixture a bit turn off the uh, boost pump but let's first uh, get settled in so we're reaching uh, 150 knots well, let's put power back a bit till we reach 75 percentage of power uh, I'm gonna turn off the landing lights we don't need them anymore and I'm gonna turn off the boost pump don't need that at the moment uh, I might switch to the fullest tank as well while I'm at it like so now let's lean the mixture a bit so let's go to another page and let's lean the mixture until we get a nice uh, so the temperature goes up a bit. The exhaust temperature, that is. 1100, 115. According to the manual, it should be around 1300, but I never seem to get that high in flight sim, so we're still gaining. And now we're losing. Okay, so we got it at 11, 1185 here, the exhaust temperature. Let's turn on the assist. Uh, that gives me a. Uh, Reminds me of uh, the top temperature we reached. Yeah, that's it basically. Oh, we're uh, at Chera Point, so let's turn uh, the heading now to where we need to go. We just cross Chera Point. Now let's head to where we need to be because we're going in the wrong direction right now. We really need to fly east. That's the beauty of VFR, I can just uh, fly wherever I want to fly. No need to report anything to anyone, so that's nice. So we had a strong headwind, but we're turning now, so we can actually turn a little further still. Really want to pick up that uh, magenta line. So if you look at, uh, at four flight now, we are turning this, we crossed Shara Point here. Now we're turning to get to our first waypoint here, Powell, and then we start moving to the south, like so. That's the idea. A little more eastward. There we go. Yeah, normally if there was um, ATC online, I'd request flight following and stuff like that, but uh, yeah, there's no one there at the moment, so can't do that.
Okay, so we're uh, cruising now. I think uh, I'm going to skip the video forward a bit because this is uh, usually the boring part, especially with weather like this. There's really nothing to see. It's pretty rare in Europe that you get blue skies like this, but it's really like this. Like I said, I just live, uh, well, I live a bit to the south in Switzerland, but uh, the weather is just the same here. So it's really cool. Uh, but for flying it's a bit boring sometimes, so uh, I'm going to skip the video forward a bit and uh, when it gets interesting, uh, when we start our descent for the uh, runway, or for, the, for the airport, I'm going to get back to you guys and then uh, we can do the landing together. So see you in a bit. Bye bye. Alright, welcome back everybody. We just uh, cleared our last uh, waypoint, so we're slowly starting our descent. Uh, we're at 5,000 feet currently, we need to descend to 1,600 feet. The airport is at uh, 600 feet uh, sea level, so we're going to leave 1,000 feet for uh, pattern work to fly downwind and everything. So uh, we got, what do we got, 9 minutes to go, so I'm slowly going to start our descent. Uh, I reckon we need... 500, we're going to descend at 500 feet per minute, so we need to descend to 3,500 feet, so that's around 7 minutes. Give me a minute to uh, stabilize the aircraft, so at around 8 minutes ETE we're going to start our descent, so we got 1 minute to go. Then we're going to fly overhead, uh, we're going to land, right, uh, land on runway 22, uh, so we're going to cross the, uh, the airfield. Uh, let me show you here on four flight what we're going to do. So here we have the airport, we're coming in. We're gonna cross the airport like this, and then we're gonna go like this, and fly our downwind like this, base, and then uh, our approach. That's the plan here. Uh, pretty straightfor straightforward for VFR work, really. Um, so yeah, I think it's about time to start our descent. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, switch on the uh, flight level change. And simply, I already have the 1600 feet uh, entered here in the uh, autopilot, so all I have to do is just reduce the power to around 50%, I would guess, maybe a bit lower, until we start descending a nice gradual 500 feet. We're going to fall through that initially. As you can see, we're descending at 1000 feet now, but still, uh, normally, the oh, that's a bit much. Let's give it a little more power here, because I don't want to descend too Let's go up to 60. We made some really good time. We got a very strong tailwind here um, of 10 knots. So our ground speed is pretty high. It's 190 knots. Um, but that's perfect. I uh, are about uh, 10 miles. Uh, we've got around 10 miles to go. We're going to announce ourselves to the airport, which is called Leipzig Altenburg. So I'm just going to call it Altenburg traffic. Uh, slowly let's uh, also get the uh, checklist here for descent, so set the altimeter, well we already did that, I don't have anything closer, although I could check the METAR here, do we have a METAR here? Q&H 1023, okay we got that set so that's all good. Back to the checklist, switch to fullest tank, well, that's something we should definitely do to full tank, we did that. Mixture set to full rich, we're gonna do that right now. And that's just so that we don't forget it when we are very low. We don't want to lean the, uh, the mixture too much when we get uh, lower. I also need to descend a little quicker than this, so let's pull back the throttle a little bit because we're only descending at 300 feet and then we're not gonna make it in time. So let's speed that up a bit. Make sure my calculation is correct. We need to descend 500 feet on average per minute, so that's good. And then secure the, the, the seat belt. Well, I'm very secure here. So then, before landing, we're going to put the mixture in full rich. We already did that. We're going to put the boost pump, boost pump on. We're going to set the flaps. We're going to put on the lights, the landing lights in this case. Turn off the autopilot. And we're going to fly downwind with 100 knots, base with 90 knots, and then our short final at 80 knots and then uh, give a gentle flare so that's all the plan for you. we are going on right now let's zoom in here a bit let's take a look where we are we got uh, 20 miles to go 
15 miles that is. Okay, so we might as well just give them a call in a minute and tell them where we are. Traffic Hotel Bravo Kilo Mike Uniform, uh, one four miles to your west at uh, 3000 feet, inbound for landing, runway 22. Ah, I should have called the, uh, give them the, uh, the type, forgot that. Okay, coming up on 1600 feet. Then we gotta slow the aircraft down because we're still doing 160 knots, which is way too much. But I should hit 1600 feet a little before uh, we reach overhead, so that should give me some time to slow the aircraft down. I'm gonna speed up our descent a little bit because otherwise we're not gonna make it, so I'm gonna reduce power a little more. Also, I'm also going to turn on the landing lights already, uh, so just that I don't forget that. Turn on the boost pump already. All these things I don't have to do in our circuit when we're flying our circuit because then I have to do everything at once. And I'd like to get that over with. Okay, it's looking good. I don't want to descend too fast here, so let's reduce, increase the power a little bit again. It's quite bumpy here, flying so low, so that's going to be uh, an interesting approach. We're going to fly. I'll just check before landing, just pump on, flaps, lights, autopilot, yep. So we got everything set. All we need to do now is, uh, of course, set the, uh, the flaps, but we're going to do that in downwind. Okay, here we are, 1600 feet. Uh, let's reduce speed a bit. So we can do our maneuvering uh, at a lower speed. Really low, but hey ho, a thousand feet above ground level. I used to do some real flying with my PPL, uh, I never made it to my license, but I got around 45 hours in. And I gotta tell you, this is pretty realistic when you're flying this low over uh, mountainous, mountainous terrain with forests and everything. It's really bumpy, especially this kind of weather. Uh, because you got a lot of uh, air going up, and you gotta fly through that, so. Anyway, we're almost there. Okay, let's slow this thing down, because we're almost overhead, and we're going to enter the downwind, and I need to be able to set flaps, and we're still way too fast for that, so... There we go. Should be able to see the airport right now. serious because it's not just now. I want to keep some speed in this aircraft. Okay. Good. Ah, there's the airport. 
right in front of us, as it should be. So then we're going to do our pattern work manually, of course we're not going to do that on autopilot. And it's going to be a bumpy uh, ride, and I think we're going to have some nice crosswind to land as well, so that's going to be a bit of a challenge, but uh, yeah, it's the fun of it, right? Makes it realistic. Let's zoom this thing in. Uh, the other one. Uh, that way, yeah. There we go. When we're overhead, we're going to announce that. So everybody knows where we are. Altenburg Traffic, Hotel Bravo Kilo Mike Uniform, overhead 1,600 feet. And then we're going to join the downwind. There's our runway. have these patterns on the charts, the VFR charts, but this, for some reason, this airport doesn't have it, so um, I'm going to have to eyeball it a bit. Don't want to make the uh, circuit too small. So let's enter the downwind. Uh, that should be zero 04. That's the other side of 22, so Altenburg traffic, Hotel Bravo Kilo Mike uniform joining left downwind runway 22. So let's do that. I'm gonna do use the autopilot for that for now. 04. And then we're gonna turn off the autopilot. There we go. So now we're flying perpendicular to the uh, to the runway. Probably should be able to see that to my left. Oh, it's, there it is. Yeah, we got a pretty big circuit now. Okay. Alright. Good. Okay, let's turn off the autopilot. Let's start flying manually here. Set some flaps as well. Let's do that first. Flaps are set. Let's turn off the autopilot. Let's set the heading bug in the direction of the runway, which is like so. Altenburg traffic, Hotel Bravo Kilo, Mike Uniform, joining left base runway 2. two. It was. Okay, let's reduce some power. I think we're pretty far out. So I don't want to dump too much uh, speed and altitude, because I think I made the circuit a bit big, so let's just stay like this for a bit. So we, uh, we made the circuit a bit big. No problem, we'll just stay at this altitude for a bit and fly back to the airport. And then hopefully have a nice smooth landing. Oh 
almost there. Let's turn in a bit. So this is not ideal. Uh, not a big problem either. But oh, that's nice. We can see on the chart here. That's the DME. So that's perpendicular to the air uh, airstrip, to the landing strip. So I can turn in here. So let's turn in and see where we are. We're still at a thousand feet, so we've got some altitude. We've got uh, 400 feet to go. That uh, should be okay. Somewhere in that forest is the airstrip. Ah, there we are. I can see it. Yeah, we're really far away. <laughs> So yeah, that's not ideal. I made the, uh, the circuit way too big. So let's just uh, keep our altitude for now. Let's put in a little more throttle. Yeah, I should have I should have flown over the forest here in front. I, I went way too far, but that's okay. That's not a really big problem here. Uh, let's announce ourselves here. Altenburg traffic, Hotel Bravo Kilo Mike uniform, short final, runway 22 for full stop landing. So, that's that. Poppies tell me I'm too low, which I don't need the poppies to tell me that I am low, but that's okay. We're gonna just do fine here. Let's set uh, flaps too. I'll add some, uh, reduce some speed here till we get around 80 knots. And then just fly in. There's the DME. So the wind is really falling away now. We got no more turbulence. Should be a smooth landing. Nice. Okay, let's take all the throttle out. And fly her gently. There we go. Ah, perfect. Not bad. Not bad at all. Ah, I can actually vacate the runway here. Let's hit the brakes. Traffic, Hotel Bravo, Kilo Mike Uniform, vacated runway 22. So that's that. Let's go back to the uh, checklist. So flaps up. Power 2000 RPM. Not that much. Easy does it. Peter Heat off. So that's that one. Peter Heat off. And trim for takeoff. Okay. Uh, then let's see where we're going. I need to park somewhere as well. Yeah, I'm just gonna park it somewhere over, over here, just straight ahead. I think I'll be fine. Um, do we have a taxiway? I can call out. Let's see, taxiway Charlie. Okay. Altenburg traffic. Hotel Bravo Kilo Mike uniform. Taxiing to General Aviation Parking via Taxiway Charlie Echo. Okay, well, let's go. Okay, I don't know where we're going here, but that's just fine. 
follow that line. Did we get to those trucks, I think? Park, nope, that's wrong. Okay, well, I'm just gonna park it anyway. It's a big fire truck there. No idea what he's doing. Okay, now I'm lost. Oh, well, there's a guy there. Let's just park over there. Ah, here we are. Nice. They're just waiting for me. I bet they were. Okay, let's slow this down. And we got it parked. Nice. Let's go to the checklist. Shut down. So let's turn off the avionics. Avionics off. Boost pump. It's still running. I can hear it. This off check, then make sure to lean cut off. Check that's the engine ignition switch to off, masters off, and then all the lights off. And that's it, we're there. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe you learned something, maybe you saw, thought, uh, saw some stuff that <laughs> I didn't do correct, but uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll be back for some, next, some more flights soon. So uh, hope to see you then, bye-bye.